Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of my Route Learning series for Stepford County Railway. And I'm very excited, as in this episode we are going to be taking a look at some routes from Stepford Express, my current favourite operator in Stepford County Railway. In this episode we're going to be taking a look at the first express route which people can drive when they first purchase an express train on the route between Stepford Central and Lynn by the Sea via Benton Stopper. We'll be following the real life timetable of train 1 Lima 07, the 2127 Stepford Express service from Stepford Central to Lynn by the Sea. Our stops along the way will include St Helens Bridge, Benton, Leighton Stepford Road, Leighton City, Edgemead, West Wyvern, North Shore, and finally Lynn by the Sea. The train that I'm going to be driving today needs very, very little in the way of introduction. As you can clearly see, it is the iconic Class 43 Intercity 125 high-speed train. The train that of course completely changed Britain's high-speed rail travel by being nicknamed the Journey Shrinker. This train has a top speed of 125 miles per hour or 201 kilometers per hour and we will be able to spend significant parts of today's journey running at that top speed. In fact, a couple of times in history, this train has been known to run quicker than that. And the top speed for the Intercity 125 is 143.2 miles per hour by the prototype units 43000 and 43001, which was recorded on June the 12th, 1973. As I mentioned, the Intercity 125 is the fastest diesel train ever, and these units were built between 1975 and 1982. However, most of them have now since retired, with the last high-speed trains leaving London Paddington on the 18th of May 2019, and the last Intercity 125s running on the East Coast Main Line was on the 15th of December 2019. And the same for the Midland Main Line on services between London, St Pancras and Sheffield and the East Midlands. Those services stopped on the 15th of May 2021. There are in fact some Intercity 125 trains still running for Great Western Railway on their castle sets in the west of England linking Cornwall and South Wales and also up in Scotland running for ScotRail on their Intercity 7 sets linking the seven Scottish cities. There are also some Intercity 125 still running for cross country on services all throughout the UK and these are seven car sets. Some rail tours with Intercity 125s are still occurring today and also some units could be pulled out and running on Heritage Railways in the future. Today's train consists of two power cars and four slam door Mark IV coaches, each 3.91 metres tall by 2.72 metres in width, 17.8 metres in length and a weight of 70.25 tonnes each. On the screen now is the Stepford Express network map and you can clearly see the route for today. We are going to be going on the route which is indicated as bright pink, the route which goes through Lynn via Benton. As you can see, there's a number of ways you can get to Lynn from Newry or going via Morganstown, but all the routes will split off after St Helens Bridge and join up again by the time we reach Leighton. There are varied stopping patterns for many of the routes. However, the one today you can see we will be stopping at all stations featured on that bright pink route at the top. Well, of course, we won't be stopping at Wester Coast, however, because there's only one route which does, and that is the route between Lynn by the Sea and Newry, which will be covered in a future video. And that's just about everything. Let's now take one last look outside the train before we head off on our journey tonight towards Lynn by the Sea. Departing away from Stepford Central, the speed limit is 45 miles per hour and we've got just over 2.3 miles to go to our first stop at St Helens Bridge. As you can see we're having a little bit of a race with a Stepford Connect Class 185 on leaving the station. I've reached 45 now, just allowing the train to coast. However, we're already going to be going all the way up to 125 miles per hour. You can see we've now passed that speed limit and we're now going to accelerate all the way up to the maximum speed already. The next station will be St Helens Bridge. 
you can hear the sheer power of the engines really kicking in now as we tick over 100 miles per hour. And there you go, we have reached our top speed already for the journey. On the left hand side is Stepford Depot and on the right is Stepford East Station. No express services stop there even though it is a main interchange hub. The lines on the left now are the connect lines that diverge to the left towards Whitefield and the station that you just might have seen was Stepford High Street. We've got just under half a mile to go now to St Helens Bridge so I'm going to start applying the brakes. You can see a warning for a speed reduction to 90 miles per hour. That would apply to all trains even if you're not actually stopping here at St Helens Bridge. The speed limit's down to 90 now although of course I'll be going significantly lower than that because we are stopping at the station. Please mind the gap between Bring the speed down the just to around 35, Benton, I like to enter stations Benton, at. Road, Here at St Benton Helens Bridge, City, I'm aiming to stop at the Benton, S car sign, which is West right at the end of the platform. You can see it just coming up here, and we've arrived at St Helens Bridge. Departing away from St Helens Bridge, the speed the limit is still 90 miles per hour Benton. and we've got three and a quarter miles to go to our next stop, which is Benton. The lines diverging to the right are the express lines that go via Morganstown I mentioned earlier. We're now crossing the Bowdoin Viaduct. So you're just trying to be cautious to not overspeed. As you can see, I've hit 90 now. I'm just going to leave the train to coast here. You can see we've rounded a right-hand curve and we're now dropping down. You can see Bowdoin Station coming up in front of us and the connect lines joining on either side of us. And the speed limit will now be going up back again to 125 miles per hour as we pass through Bowdoin Station. we hit 125 miles per hour, we've got now just under two miles to go. We are now passing through Coxley Station with just over a mile to go. You can see that was a warning of a speed reduction to 75 miles per hour. As you can see, I'm going to just about slow us down in time for that. I've always struggled to apply a right amount of brake to get the train slowed down for that before, so I was quite pleased I managed it. The speed's dropped again to 45, and it will be dropping again further to 30 miles per hour. Just back then on the left-hand side was West Benton Station, served by Waterline. You can see we've now reached 30 miles per hour. Greenslade, and we're just going to nicely allow the train Benton, to coast into the station. Airport Terminal 2. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. This train is formed of four coaches. First class is located at the you can see we're on platform train. number seven. Here at Benton I'm aiming to stop at the 2 plus 4 car HST stop marker in pink which you can just see coming up on the left hand side now and here we are. Departing away from Benton the speed limit is still 30 miles per hour and we've got 5.7 miles to go to the next station which is Leighton Stepford Road. Welcome on board this Stepford Express service to Lynn-by-the-Sea. 
You can see just temporarily all the connect and express lines do diverge from four lines into two after the spaghetti junction of all the platforms neatens out. Benton Depot is on the right hand side, although there are express trains parked there, it is only served by connect. Speed limit's now going up to 45 miles per hour. The lines heading off to the right are the Connect and Waterline services towards Morganstown, Greenslade and Port Benton. You also saw that that signal indicator showed that we would be diverging to the left hand side. The speed limit for us goes up to 75 miles per hour, however for Connect on the two lines to the left of us it is only 60 miles per hour as we now cross the infamous Benton Bridge. Benton Bridge Station is straight in front of us, however the express lines take the express only route under Airport Parkway Depot and round to the right hand side. We are now indeed passing under those airlink lines I mentioned, Airport Parkway is just above us to the left hand side. We are now passing through the Morganstown Triangle East Tunnel. Only a short tunnel, we are now joining up with the airlink tracks that have come from the airport. We are now passing through Hampton Hargate Station with just under 4.3 miles to go. The speed limit has now also increased back up to 125 and it will be remaining at that for pretty much the rest of the way to Leighton. This part of the line, the connect lines diverge to the left to go via Upper Staple Village and then they rejoin us by Water Newton Station. We are now passing through the abandoned Upper Staple Station with 2.8 miles to go. There are lots of abandoned platforms on this part of the line which I really like. You might have noticed we passed through some at Hampton Hargate. It looked like platforms 3 and 4 although they are no longer in use. And once we pass through Water Newton Station in a minute, we will pass through some more abandoned platforms which are never used, as you will see. We're now passing through Water Newton Station with one and three quarter miles to go. You can see we've got a warning for a speed drop to 75 miles per hour as we are now approaching Leighton city centre so I'm going to ensure that I obey that. You can see we're down to 71. The speed limit will be dropping further to 60 miles per hour. Slightly oversped there, I was trying to keep the speed up. There was the warning for that reduction to 60 and it comes in effect from now. And you can see once more the four lines will join into two. We're now passing Rocket Parade Station with just over half a mile to go. As you can see I've now got a warning of an AWS single yellow signal so I'm going to be prepared to stop. The next signal is indeed red so I am going to have to significantly slow down. Looks as if something has just come out of the latent sidings as you can see just here on the left hand side. The signal's now cleared from danger up to caution so we can proceed into Leighton Stepford Road Station and the signal's now cleared all the way up to a green aspect. We will shortly be arriving at Leighton Stepford Road. Please you saw the platform the indicator the stating we'd be going platform. onto platform number three. Edgemead, West Wyvern, North Shore. And Lynn by the Sea. You can see we're approaching this the correct stop marker, the two to five car stop just coming up here. First class and we've arrived. Is located at the rear of the train. This is Leighton Step.
Departing away from Leighton Stepford Road, the speed limit is 60 miles per hour, and we've got just 0.4 miles to go to the next stop, which is Leighton City. Welcome on board this Stepford Express. See, we're sticking on line B. Just going to follow the this long right hand curve and then we've arrived. City. Very short distance between these two stations. We'll be diverging onto line A momentarily. Here's the switch over. Leighton City is now the main station in Leighton, although that wasn't always the case. It used to be Leighton Stepford Road, although I believe it was the 1.8 update where they changed roles and now Leighton City is indeed the biggest. Terminus, if you like, station here in Leighton. And we come to platform number two. You can see once again I'm aiming to stop at the two to four car stop. And here we are, arrival at Leighton City. Departing away from Leighton City, the starting speed limit is still 60 miles per hour and we've got 1.6 miles to go to the next stop, which is Edgemead. Welcome on board this Stepford Express service to Lynn by the Sea. We will call at Edgemead. Because you have accelerated up to 60 now. North Shore. All the lines are diverging, however in a minute we're going to come up to the Leighton Triangle where there's lines diverging to the right and coming from the left on the single track branch line to Leighton West. That's still actually one of my favourite parts of the map in a strange way, I just think it's really nice and quaint. We pass a whistleboard there, the speed limit's also gone up back up to 125 miles per hour. You can see the speed limit is now reducing to 100 miles per hour. I'm not sh actually sure if there is a warning there. I think there should be if there already we isn't. However, you've just got to know that you've got to Edgemead. decrease your speed to below 100, Please whether you're stopping at Edgemead or not. You can see the platform's coming up now. We're going to be on platform one today. Coming into to nice controlled speed. Here at Edgemead, I'm aiming to stop as close to the end of the platform as I can without going off the edge, as it's a very short platform. It's only really a rural station served by Connect. Anyway, we've made it. Departing away from Edgemead, the speed limit is still 100 miles per hour, although it will rapidly be going up to first 110 and then 125 miles per hour. And we've got five and a half miles to go to the next stop, which is West Wyvern. You can see the speed limit already gone up to 110 as the lines diverge under that tunnel. And as the lines split out to four again, the speed limit will be going up to 125 just about now. We're now passing through the middle of Faymere station with 4.75 miles to go. I still like to refer to this part of the network as the Lynn extension because of course it was that long anticipated extension beyond Edgemead to Lynn by the sea. Still one of my favourite parts of the map. We're now passing Faymere Green Depot. And on to the iconic Wester Coast Viaduct. Westercoast is definitely the best modelled town in terms of sheer detail on Stepford County Railway. However, it seems unrealistic that a level crossing in the middle of a narrow town like that and we thunder through at 125 miles per hour surely seems a bit dangerous and unrealistic. I'll let you be the judge of that. <laughs> You notice that was a warning of a speed reduction to 50 miles per hour, although that will not apply to us as we are continuing straight on. We burst out of the tunnel and There's pass through Millcastle Racecourse Please. Station with two and a half miles to go. We're now passing through Millcastle Station on the abandoned Stop platforms here. 2 and 3.
you can see there's a crossover. This is because some Stepford Express services actually cross over to the slow lines and terminate at West Wyvern. And now you can see the West Wyvern flyover diverging from the slow lines across and down into the Bay Platform 4, which is on the other side of the station. We've now got a quarter of a mile to go, so I'm going to apply the brakes fairly hard. West Wyvern. Please mind the gap between the you can see the station the now coming up. First class is located at the rear of the train. The correct place to stop in this train at West Wyvern is this first stop car marker, as you can see here, coming up. 2 plus 4 car HST stop. Departing away from West Wyvern, the speed limit is still 125 miles per hour. And we've got just over 2.1 miles to go to our penultimate stop, which Welcome is North Shore. You can see it's just a simple matter of accelerating all the way up to full power and just letting the train pick up speed. The next station will be North Shore. see for the first time on the right hand side that we've actually got the sea now so, you know we're approaching the coast and therefore not too far away from our destination We're now passing through Starry Lock Station with 0.8 miles to go. You can see the caravan park on our left also shows there's going to be a reduction to 90 miles per hour. I'm now going to apply the brakes and try and get our speed down for our stop, which is coming up in around a quarter of a mile now. So you can we see North Shore Station coming up, the speed limit is dropping to 90. Please However, of course, seeing as we're going to be stopping, we're going to be doing significantly less than that. Here at North Shore, I'm aiming to stop at the end of the platform. First class is located at the rear of the train. You can see the S car marker coming up now. And here we are, arrival at North Shore. Departing away from North Shore, the speed limit is still 90 miles per hour and we've got 1.6 miles to go to our next and final stop, which is Lynn by the Sea. Past North Shore Depot on the left hand side there, used by Connect and Express trains. You can see we're just going to cruise along at 90 now. The speed limit will be going down to 45 fairly soon though. You can see that 45 limit coming up now. Unfortunately I didn't quite break in time there. Just make sure you break a little bit earlier than I did. To avoid being over the speed limit. As we are now descending into what I like to call the throat approach to Lynn by the Sea. Yes, I got that name from London Paddington, but I think it suits this station pretty well as well. You can see we're going to be taking line C, therefore we'll be continuing straight ahead. It's worth saying that the lines on the approach to Limb by the Sea are bi-directional. 
Now, although there is going to be no further speed reduction, I like to come into Limby by the Sea. It's a lot slower than 45. It just seems a lot room, a lot more realistic that we would come in under 30, maybe even 20. You can see we're going to be coming in on platform four. Just bring the train in nice and slowly. And you can see just trying to bring the train up to the buffers. Gradually bringing the speed down. And here we are, welcome to Lim by the Sea. Around two minutes late, but that's not a major concern to our passengers. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed this, this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos on Stepford County Railway. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Take care, and until the next episode, goodbye. This is Lynn by the Sea. This train terminates here. All change, please. Thank you for travelling with us today.